Howdy, folks. <clears throat> hey, look, I'm Sandy. Today is the day I get to start sanding. It's uh, it sort of marks a, a point in a build or a series of builds that's kind of exciting because that means all the all the machining is is pretty much done. All the uh, all the drilling or most of it anyway. Everything is is ready to go. So, just a couple tips on sanding. There's, uh, I've seen lots of videos on it, and I'm not going to uh, bore you with a whole bunch of sanding going on. But I'll, I'll tell you some of the things I do. Um, on this bevel, uh, a lot of this had to be taken off on my belt sander, which has a very aggressive belt. That's a 50 grit belt on there. And I used a, a combination of a grinder with a big hogger attachment on it and that belt. So I brought it down to uh, 60 grit. I do the final shaping with 60 grit by hand. And uh, at this point, I, I'm hitting it with 180. I'll go around here with 180 and then I'll finish it up with 320. And... Uh, and all around this area here is uh, is very tedious because it's a small area and you can't really hit it with a uh, with a DA sander with an electric sander. These nice flat surfaces, I can hit these with a DA at 320. And just uh, you know, if there's a couple spots that are giving me issues, I could hit those by hand. And the back is real easy too. Now. Uh, a part that's uh, that can be tough is the outside, but if you hit it with uh, with the router with a nice clean router bit, you shouldn't have too many issues. And uh, and again, I'll do I'll do that all all by hand. And uh, that'll be it for the body. And then for the necks, for the final shaping and and sanding of the necks, I'll uh, I'll hit these with 320. I'll go all the way around the headstock and scrape the binding. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The, the necks are, are pretty well shaped at this point. And all I've got to do is hit them with uh, 320. And uh, that'll be it. They'll be ready for their first coat of uh, lacquer. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lacquer these. The next, uh, yeah, I'll probably grain fill it. I have this stuff called, I think it's called aqua pour or aqua fill. I think it's aqua pour. Um, let's see if I got it out here. No. Nope. It's in the basement. It was in the basement for the winter. I use this stuff, I use this for, uh, this is from Stumac, and I use this for mahogany. This is colored grain filler, and basically you mix this with, with water, you make like a paste, and you paste it on the guitar and then sand it off. Dries quick and works really well, but it does add color, and with this wood, I'm not going to add any colors to it. I want the natural color of the wood to come through with maybe... Uh, you know some of the yellowing the natural yellowing from the from the lacquer that'll come through over time so uh so there's that i mean it's sanding you take out the scratches how much sanding the more work you put into sanding the better your end result is going to be and all you need to do well, i bring it to 320 some people say they bring it to 220 but whatever uh I, I think the real trick comes in if, if you plan on getting a mirror finish and polishing the guitar, then it's going to be an issue. But I wanted to show you this. I've seen a lot of guys use erasers and all sorts of different things for sanding blocks. But I just picked these up. I got three of these from the, uh, 
from the dollar store. Actually, there's a store called Five Below. And they're just little, little mats. Interlocking fitness flooring. And uh, I cut off one edge and I made it square. And then I cut the little interlocking bits off of that. And I made a whole bunch of uh, sanding blocks. So I'll cut my sandpaper and it's self-adhesive sandpaper and I'll just stick it to the back here. And these make great little sanding blocks. They're good for getting into corners because they're, they're flexible, but they're still firm enough where they'll take down any high spots. So there you have it. Those are my tips and tricks on sanding. Other than that, I say be patient. I would not plan on spending a day sanding. I would plan on spending several days in small bits. Like uh, I'm working all week uh, at my daytime job. So when I come home, I'll spend an hour or so each day sanding. And so that way you come at it fresh. I think if you spend too much time at it, you'll start to overlook things and then you'll end up regretting it when you, when you put the final finish on it. So with this build, we're coming real close. This is number 10. Let me find the number 10 neck here. There you go. Number 10 is special because it's got uh, it's got 22 frets. This one has an extra fret. But there's uh, there's number 10. This is uh, a superconductor. And uh, we're we're heading towards uh, heading towards finishing. I'm hoping Fourth of July weekend we'll have uh, several coats of shellac on these things. All right, that's about it for updates. Uh, this is John from Thomas Muse Guitars reminding you that every machine is a smoke machine if you don't use it properly. Peace out.